Hi there, it is Igor. It is a Russian man from St. Petersburg who learns English through English comedy or English speaking comedy. Today we're gonna watch one video who recommended. Recommended. Uh, who does recommend it? Kimberly Krapol. Thanks so much for recommendation. And you, my dear viewer, right now can recommend your own comedy if you want. And I'll see you can subscribe or smash like button or something like this if you want. I am sharing my life on this channel i like to share it and i i'm a russian man who learns english and who shares my journey if you will watch my first video you will be really shocked because i was a really beginner right now i have a higher quality of english and today we're gonna watch one video the machine bird kreischer let's do this together the russian mafia story let's well, see this together Okay, we'll open. Maybe I will not understand these jokes. Maybe I will I will understand, but uh, the higher level of my English, the higher <laughs> my comprehensions of joke skill. Let's do this. I was 22. I got involved with the Russian mafia. Here's how it happened. When I was 22, I got involved with the Russian mafia. Here's how it happened. I went to school at Florida State. I was not a very good student. I was there uh, like seven years. I was there th in most of the 90s. I, I was in college longer than grunge music was around. Grunge music is maybe direction of music. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is how bad of a student I was. One time I signed up for a Russian class thinking it was Spanish. And it took three classes before I realized, I don't think this is Spanish. <laughs> yeah, so I got to leave the teacher who was language. hot. He definitely worked out. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't, it was a girl. It was a girl. And she was hot. She still is hot. She stopped me. She goes, don't go anywhere. I need 14 kids to teach this class. You're the 14th. I need to teach this class in order to get my master's. So if you sit back down, you don't have to do anything all semester and I'll just give you a C. I was like, uh, Strasvutia, bitches, I'm back. <laughs> so I took Russian one, two, three, and four, never learned a word. <laughs> Think about what I'm saying. I took two years of a language, took four semesters of my college career, four, four semesters. Russian four was taught in Russian. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to go to a class and sit there like an immigrant at the DMV all day? Like... <laughs> The end of Russian 4, same teacher pulls me aside. She's like, we're taking a trip to Russia. If you go, you'll get a minor. I was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> you know, I can't really speak, read, write, or understand the language, right? She's like, I'm fucking well aware of that. <laughs> you got to remember, I was taking tests in a language with which I was unfamiliar with their alphabet. Do you have any idea what it's like to take a test and make up hieroglyphics? <laughs> and the answer is star circle hashtag shoe. <laughs> she goes, it doesn't matter. We need kids to make this trip happen. And if you go with all the classes you've taken and the ones you will take, you will get a minor. And I was like, oh, that's all you had to say. Let's go to Russia and fuck some minors. Did I, did I understand it right that uh, he was studying Russian language for four semesters and he didn't know anything about Russian language because uh, uh, a teacher was so uh, so soft and uh, teacher allows uh, him to do anything he wants but in some moment uh, he was uh, he was sent uh, he was sent to to rush yes to Im immigrate it no I not immigrated it. it's like a sent from uh, c his college it is like a exchange program <laughs> I don't understand what is minors it's a different it was different minor obviously learn that the hard way minor I, I know that in uh, music it is uh, C minor 
major minor minor it is mean maybe like a lowest position or uh, <laughs> or negative i don't know in uh, music it is like the negative dark sound but uh, here it's uh, maybe uh, maybe it is the lowest position so we went to russia in 1995 this is when the mob ran everything and they told us that our very first night they sat the whole class uh, 1995 it is really strange and really criminal uh, times in Russia I want to say because uh, in Russia we have uh, many of uh, mafia it is not like a mafia it is gangsters gangsters from 19s 19s uh, in Russia it is the most dangerous time of uh, maybe of last uh, century behind uh, wars and uh, some political conflicts in in Russia, it is the most dangerous because we have uh, crime like a uh, uh, hand a hole uh, <laughs> and hands up or I will kill you, give me your money and uh, let's starving. S starving means that you will die without food and uh, you don't have any any products on uh, on shelves of uh, supermarkets. And you don't have uh, supermarkets, you have only market. Market means uh, that bazaar and nothing else. I know it about from uh, stories of my grandparents. I'm 21 years old and I was born in... Uh, I was born in 1997. Down, they're like, listen, we have paid off the mafia to keep you safe. In exchange for our money, they give us two young gangsters. I'm in the room like, this trip just got fucking awesome. <laughs> the word for gangster in Russian is banditi. They go, these banditi are gonna live with us. They're gonna walk you to class. They're gonna walk you back from class. They're gonna take you on field trips, walk you back from field trips. Do not speak to them. They're in the mafia. Do not look at them. Do not engage them. Do not interact with them. I was like, well, they're gonna be my best fucking friends. <laughs> So the first night I grab a bottle of vodka and a six pack of Baltica, which is our local beer, and I plan a sentence. Baltica, yes, is a local beer uh, label. Baltica, it is uh, one of the... It is not popular, it is uh, like a Walmart supermarket uh, beer, maybe. It is, the, it is like a pop. Pop, uh, it is everywhere, but it's not, it is not good. I was going to say... Uh, he said, uh, my name is uh, Burt and I work like a, like a cat. Koshka, it is cat. Does anyone speak Russian in here? I love that someone says no. No. I did a head count earlier, it doesn't look like it. I'll tell you what the sentence says. It's a badass sentence. I worked all day on it. Hello, my name's Bert. It's very nice to meet you. I work pussy. <laughs> kind of. It really means I work with cats. I didn't know the fucking language. What do you expect? Uh, it doesn't matter because the second the door opens and I'm face to face with a real Russian gangster with the wife beater and the tattoos with the track pants and the cigarette. And it, he just stares me up and down. A frat boy from Florida State. I was wearing a fanny pack. <laughs> he just looks at me and goes, Stole! I fucking panicked. And everything I planned on saying flooded out of my head. And all I said to him in Russian in his door... Sto means uh, what? ...doorway was, I am the machine. <laughs> and he started laughing. He goes, what did you say? I was like, I'm the machine! <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, come in and tell my friends. Brings me in a room full of nine Russian gangsters drinking and smoking and just goes, stop! Tell them what you said. <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it. I'm the machine! <laughs> they looked at each other, looked at me, and they're like, fuck it, he's the machine! <laughs> and I became the machine, and these guys loved me. Yes. He started to be Don Corleone, or, or uh, somebody from The Godfather <laughs> book. <laughs> Gangsta. The you gotta realize though, the reason they loved me is I went shot for shot with them that night, all night long, until like four in the morning. But all I knew how to say in their language was, I'm the machine! 
and I fuck cats. <laughs> so, we did everything together. We, uh, like the guy that answered the door, his name was Igor. He was like my best friend. We did everything together. My name is Igor too. Igor. My name is Igor. Oh, Jesus Christ. It is uh, how to, I want to translate it uh, from Russian language. It will be, it is coincidence. Coincidence. Interesting coincidence. We ran a pool hall scam. We stole a boat. <laughs> it was literally the best summer of my life. And then one day, the whole class is taking a trip to Moscow. It's an overnight train trip. And I say to Igor, I go, this is going to be a blast. We're going to be in the same cabin. And he goes, I can't go. I said, why not? And he goes, different mafia runs train, different mafia runs Moscow. I said, well, hold on. What's that mean for me? And he goes, don't worry. I set up banditi. I tell them about you. They'll take care of you. Sure enough, we get to the train station, and he introduces me to my two new gangsters, Igor and Igor. <laughs> and he says to me, he goes, guys, this is the machine. If you give the machine vodka, you'll have a great time. <laughs> The big ear of the two Igors looks like a kid on Christmas. He's like, oh, I can't wait to play with a machine. <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, the machine doesn't sit in coach. The machine sits in first class with us. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> we go to first class and it is pimped out with booze, food, and here's the real gangster part. Second the train takes off out of the station, everyone that works on the train comes in to pay their respects. The conductor walked in. <laughs> Rips off the stars and stripes to his shirt places him on my lap and goes, this is a present for the machine. <laughs> it would be an honor to do a shot of vodka with the machine. I'm 22 years old thinking, huh, these machine stories might have gotten out of control. <laughs> we drink all the booze in an hour and Big Igor stands up and he goes, machine, we go to the bar cart to get more vodka. I'm like, fuck it, I'm in the mob, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> We roll into the bar cart like a big dick in a locker room. Just, not that I've ever been that guy, but I've seen it. <laughs> Just smack. You know the look where everyone looks like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh, someone's here, okay, all right. <laughs> Igor looks at me and in Russian he says, machine, go behind the bar and grab bread. In Russian, in Russian. And I understood him. For a second I'm like, I'm fucking learning. <laughs> I'm learning the language my way, not through flashcards and textbooks, but by joining the mafia. <laughs> I get behind the bar, I'm like, Igor, I know what you said. He's like, go for your machine. <laughs> Maybe I sh 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 should, I, should I go to, uh, to English mafia to learn English language? <laughs> Can the machine find cheese? And I was like, sir, cheese, I got it. Give me another one. And he's like, grab vodka. I was like, I already know that one. Give me another one. He's like, grab the money. I'm like, huh? He goes, grab the fucking money. And I realized at that instant, uh, we're robbing the bar cart. And I'm the one doing it, hooked on phonics style. I grab the money, walk out. Two of my classmates see me and they're like, you're in so much trouble. Go back to our first class cabin and within five minutes, the head chaperone of this train trip, not the whole trip, just this train trip. She was an English teacher who did not speak Russian, who hated me before I robbed the train. <laughs> she comes over to our first class cabin and swings the door open with that like liberal arts confidence, just. <laughs> this shit is over. You're done. You're done. Stand up right now. You, you stand up. Stand, how dare, how, you're done. Stand up. And Big Igor looks at me confused, then smiles, takes a big sip of vodka, spits it in her eyes and goes, no one talks to the machine like that. <laughs> Shuts the door in her face. He goes, fuck that bitch. This is Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, machine, when it gets dark, we have good time. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing when it gets dark? Reaches into his pocket, pulls out a ring of keys, and he goes, we're robbing the whole fucking train. <laughs> I'm a good person. 
I don't cheat on, I don't cheat on, this is why, let me tell you, I don't cheat on my wife. I don't cheat on my wife because one morning our whole family was in bed, the dogs, the cats, the girls, my wife, and we were just giggling and it was pure, it was perfect. And I, don't, I thought to myself, I don't ever want to screw this up. This is the most important thing. This is what it's, life's about. And they got up to make cho chocolate chip pancakes and I laid in bed and I said, I will never cheat on my wife. I had a conversation with myself. I said, if I ever get into a situation where a hot girl's flirting with me or I think she's flirting with me and it seems like it could go further, I'm just gonna cock block myself. I'm just gonna look her in the face in front of everyone and go, I don't cheat on my wife! <laughs> now, I may be wrong. She may not be hitting on me. <laughs> she may throw a drink in my face, slap me. Or I may be right. I, none of that matters to me. What matters to me is that I don't cheat on my wife because I've already had that conversation. Here's the problem. I never had that conversation about robbing trains. So when presented the opportunity, I thought I'd be like, not me. I'm going to go back and work on my verbs. But apparently, when presented the opportunity, I'm the guy that's like, fuck it. Let's start with my class. So we robbed them first. While they slept, if that makes it better, and then we robbed the whole train. And if there's any consolation, we robbed me too. My bag was with them. <laughs> and then we drank all night long. All night long. Like literally until 6 in the morning. Top five drunkest I've ever been without throwing up in my entire life. We pull into Moscow at 6 a.m. I'm pissed drunk. You ever been so drunk, you're like, I know I got a piss, but I can't find my dick. <laughs> train stops. Sun's up. I'm hammered. Door opens. Same teacher, not mad. Curious, right? She looks me in the eyes, smiling, and goes, I want to be the one to tell you they've alerted the police. And I look out, and on the platform, my whole class is standing there with a cop, talking. They're upset. They've been robbed. I get it. <laughs> Apparently, they've never heard snitches get stitches. <laughs> Big Igor sees this, and it's completely unfazed. He's like, oh, don't worry. I talked to police for both of us. I was like, oh, thank God. He cracks a bottle of vodka. I'm like, eh, I wouldn't bring that out to an officer, maybe. Lights a cigarette, walks out to the cop, who's taking a statement. The cop is taking a statement. Igor walks up behind him, grabs him by the arm, spins him around, and goes, fuck you! We fuck you in the mouth! We fuck you in the ass! We, I'm like, stop with the fucking we shit! Now the cop is just staring at me, and I hear him bark out, Pidium, sit down, skid yay, which I don't even know what that means. The cop is just staring at me, and I hear him bark out, Pidium, sit down, skid yay, which I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound like, you're okay, stay there. Pidium. That means, Pidium just means. staring at me, and I hear him bark out, Pidium, sit down, skid yay, which I don't know. He said, like, a Pidium, a Pidium means that uh, let's go to maybe it was talk about let's go away from it or or let's go to fight with uh, face to face I don't even know what that means but it doesn't sound like you're okay stay there <laughs> it is a come to Jesus moment where you know you fucked up all I thought as I walked to the cop who's standing in front of the class I just robbed <laughs> next to the gangster I robbed them with my only thought was this isn't how I plan on spending my second junior year <laughs> and the gulag taking hot dicks to the throat. I get five steps from the cop, who looks impatient as shit. He takes two big ass steps, grabs me by the arm, spins me away from my class, away from Igor, pulls me right into his face, and he goes, so, I understand you're the machine. <laughs> nice. Tonight, you party with us. I was like, what? He's like, tonight you party with us, yes? And I looked at him and I was like, wait, I'm not in trouble? And he gets so close to me, I can smell his morning cigarette. And he goes, no. <laughs> Fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> it, it, it is pun punchline about that cops uh, said to him that uh, you will party with us tonight because uh, it is punchline maybe punchline that uh, they were not 
like a party heart. They were, he was sitting on a special jail, jail for administration, administration punishment. Yes, maybe 24 hours, maybe 12 hours he was sitting there. I don't know. But story was interesting. I, I understood the story. Maybe I was not laughing about the story. I understood uh, some Russian uh, phrases. Uh, his Russian some kind of uh, beginner level good. Yes, like Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan people speaks uh, in Russia. He was speaking good, I want to say. And this story about his adventure to Moscow with uh, low level of... Uh, low level of English or, or, or Rus of Russian language and how he learned Russian with uh, gangsters, with mafia, Russian mafia. Interesting story, it is more like a story, it is not like about joke, uh, jokes or stand-up for me, like a Russian, because for me it is uh, not something new. Because uh, we know many stories like this uh, about gangsters, about bang, 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 bang. But Russia right now is safe. Yes, it is safe place, uh, especially Moscow and Saint Petersburg and Sochi uh, cities. It is three cities. They are, they are safe. Yes. And uh, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Right now I understand more vocabulary. And for ex I, I want to say that uh, this video was uh, with uh, auto-generated uh, subtitles. And I understood this story. It is good progress. Because before I did understand videos with uh, auto-generated. I, yes, I, I was understanding. But not really with good quality. And right now I have good quality of understanding. Our next goal it is understanding without subtitles. And to do this need to listen more. The more we will listen. The more kind of comedians we will listen. The more understanding we will have. Listening comedians will give you opportunity to learn more daily using language. It is not language of uh, scientific or maybe uh, of uh, books uh, like these books, uh, Three Men in a Boat, uh, to say nothing of the dog. It is uh, language of daily using, of daily maybe not really, <laughs> really official using, informal use, yes, of language. And it will help me so much, it helps me so much and I will continue my journey of learning it. Let's continue, thanks so much and... Uh, you are a nice person and a person and don't forget that all depends only on you in your whole life and if you are learning a Russian you know that uh, step by step it will be easier and I know that uh, I will continue my English journey and uh, with uh, each step I will be I will be food I will be further to my goal my goal it is uh, arrive to US country thanks so much see ya bye bye